Hey guys, it's Miss Allison, and today we're going to be drawing some mittens. And I've already got mine drawn out in pencil. I'm going to show you how to do this in Sharpie and walk you through how to draw it. And then the design, you get to do whatever you want to as far as your design. So that's why I've got two different mittens on here. I wanted to show you a couple of different ways that you could do this. So um, we will get started, and I hope that you have fun with this. Okay, so to draw your mittens, you're going to start with a big J in the middle of your canvas. So this is going to go all the way down, not, not quite touching the bottom. And I'm going to stop it about a quarter of the way up, a third of the way up. I'm going to do a curved line off of that. And then I'm going to come down and do a backwards J for the thumb on my mittens. Then I'm going to do a curved line that's going to go around to show the back side or the palm side of the mittens where you put your hands in. And then I'm going to go over on the other side and do another small J. And then I'm just going to connect. So I'm connecting from the thumb to the other mitten. I'm going to draw that curved line again, draw that line connecting down, and then my curved line for the opening of that mitten. Mittens usually have a string on them so you can hang on to them and when you don't need them. So we're going to draw those lines to, to do our string to hold them together. All right, so we're going to get started with um, some detail work. Like I said, you can do whatever kind of design you want to do. I've got polka dots on one and stripes on the other. You can add any kind of other little details that you would like to add. And that part, I want you to be creative. I want you to have some fun and decide how you want to design your mittens. So I'm just going back and outlining my polka dots that I did on one set. And then I'll go back and draw my lines on the other. And then before we start painting, I'm going to show you some um, little detail things you can do if you want to add more texture and that sort of thing. You would be perfectly fine to leave these just like they are, but if you want to make them look more like they're knitted or like they have some texture to them, my lid got away from me, um, then I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. All right. So this is where we're going to come in and add the texture. And all I'm doing is just drawing some lines. So I'm not pressing down real hard on my canvas with my Sharpie. And I'm just going in and where I have big spaces, going in and adding some vertical lines. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to come back and cross those lines with horizontal lines. Not all the way across, but just little lines here and there, and you can tell how it kind of gives that area some texture. So I'm gonna do that on the other one as well. And then we're gonna go back in and add some other details here and there, just to, you know, kind of add some extra texture and depth to these mittens. All right, so up here, I think I'm just going to do some like vertical lines here and there. They're not going to um, all be the same height and length. Um, just to kind of add that look of these being knitted. Alright, so we have the top part of that done. Now I'm going to come down and kind of do the same thing around the edges. And just in between my polka dots, I'm going to kind of do that around my curved lines. Not necessarily everywhere in here, but I do want to come back and just kind of add some lines that are going to create a little bit of movement. All right, so we are ready to get started with painting. So let me get all of my stuff together and we will do that. Okay, so I have um, a couple of different sizes of brushes, and I'm probably going to use both. Just depends on how my big brush does. Um, I'm going to use my big brush definitely for my background. So whatever brushes you have laying around, feel free to use those. Um, that is up to you. Uh, my brush is really wet because I'm wanting to create kind of a watercolor effect. 
And I think I'm going to do green for my background, but I may change my mind. I don't know. Um, just trying to think about where I want my colors laid out and what, what I want to put together and that sort of thing. You don't have to do the same color for your background as I'm doing for mine. You choose where your colors are going to go. I'm using my green, my aqua, my blue, and my red in this piece. And I think, I really think that the blue might do better for the background. And then that way I can use the red, the green, and the aqua in my mittens. Um, because I want them to stand out, uh, you know, apart from the background. So I have really watered down blue paint. And I'm just going around and outlining around those mittens. All right. And I want to take my time on this so that I don't get this you know, into the mittens a whole lot because I'm going to kind of water down my paint for this one. And I don't want to have blue all throughout my mittens underneath the colors that I'm using, um, you know, for my mittens. All right. So I'm very carefully just going in and outlining this. And then I'm just going to spread out from there. And if I need to get more paint, I can, but I'm trying to use as much of it on there as I can, you know, that I already have on my brush and on my canvas. So when I go to a new spot, though, I may need to grab more paint. If you want it watered down even more, just dip your brush in your water and then spread the paint out that's on there as well. All right, so I'm gonna speed the rest of this part up so you can see how I'm just spreading this out. And then we're gonna come back and add another layer of blue on here and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so I have all of my first layer of blue on here, and what I want to do now is I'm using my smaller brush, and I'm going to come back and add kind of a shadow around the mittens. So I've got a little bit less water. I still have a good amount of water in my brush, but a little bit less than I did. And can you see how that just makes those mittens pop off of the background? It doesn't look flat anymore. They look like they've got some dimension to them. So they, it makes them look more 3D. So I'm gonna continue kind of outlining this and then I'm gonna spread this out just a little bit so that there's not like a defined line where my shadow is. I want it to blend in with my background more. And so I'm gonna continue to kind of spread that out. My first layer is still wet. So this is helping this to blend in. And that's really going to help give that look that these mittens are just popping off of that canvas. Okay, so I'm ready to paint my um, mittens, and I'm going to start with red, and you, like I said, you decide what design you want to do in these, and, you know, what colors you want to go where. This is your painting, so you make it the way you want it. I'm just going to show you some options and kind of show you what it looks like. So when I'm painting, I've watered down my paint just a little bit, not a whole lot, but this red and the green are somewhat translucent. Um, it does take a good amount to, um, 
to make them cover completely where you can't see underneath them. So I'm still going to be able to see my Sharpie lines, which is really cool because I wanted to be able to see those to show the texture. And it, when you're done with your whole painting, once it's dry, you can go back and redo your Sharpie lines. You'll be able to see them if you didn't um, put too much paint on your canvas. And so if you want to go back and re-outline those, feel free to do that. Um, but you don't have to if you can still see them and you're good with the way that they, they look. Um, so I'm going to play around with some colors and kind of see what I want to do where. I'm probably going to pick up some colors and then decide not to use them and just trying to kind of decide where I want things to go. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit, let you watch my painting process, and then I want you to decide how you want to create your mittens. All right, I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so I have finished painting everything on the outside of my mittens, and now I'm going to go in and paint where the inside, like where the where your hand would go in. So what I want to do with this is I just want to make a little bit darker red. Now, I'm going to use my um, red and probably my aqua to do this. Um, you could you could use the blue, you could use the green, either one would work. Um, any of them is going to darken the red a little bit. Um, the blue is going to make it um, probably like a, a darker purple. The green is going to make it more like a gray. And then the aqua is going to give us that kind of in between, um, like a a red violet kind of color and it just depends on how much of each color you add so just play around with mixing those um, figure out what works best for your liking and once you've got it uh, mixed then we're just going to paint in the rest of that white space and then I will have the inside of my mittens done once all of this is finished then I am finished with my painting so I hope that you have enjoyed um, painting with this and enjoyed creating your own mittens. And I can't wait to see what you create. Hey, I've got a little bonus for you. I want to show you a fun little trick to decorate the side of your canvas. And you can do this on any canvas. It does not matter if you are painting a Christmas thing on it or not. So a fun way to finish off your canvas is to paint stripes on the side of your canvas. So I started in the middle and I'm just working my way out to the edges on this canvas. And you can do these closer together. You can do them farther apart. You can do two colors, three colors. It does not matter. So I wanted to show you what this looks like when you finish it. And that way you can decide if you want to go back and just leave yours white or if you want to go back and paint it with your background color or if you want to do something fun like this on it when you're done. All right. So I'll show you the finished product here in just a second. <laughs> 